Ryan. Jan. Don't get up. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Thanks for having me over to your little beach here. How's the tower looking? Oh man, it's looking amazing. What's most amazing is that view. When you're elevated on that side of the lake, looking right over to the park, it's incredible. I can't wait to take you over there. I can't wait yeah. to see it. Beautiful. Can you believe it's been, what, almost 10 years since you and I sat? We were just down the beach a ways when we first opened our over the water bungalows. Right. And here we are almost a decade later as Amazing. we Amazing. And looking like tower. youngsters. <laughs> yeah, no, we haven't aged a bit. We haven't aged a this bit. This is where the editor will cut in a shot to prove that I have, have in it, fact, right. aged. So it's been 10 years since your film, Lava, hit theaters and uh, the song's been stuck in my head now for a decade and you and I were just together out on the Disney Vacation Club first wave sailing to Disney Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point and I loved seeing how many people would approach you and share their stories about how that song has impacted them in the yeah, film. Is it heard stories about people getting married in Hawaii and walking into the lava song or it being their kids favorite uh, thing to listen to at bedtime. You don't know when you head into a project that's going to have that sort of staying power and cultural impact. How does that feel for you? It feels amazing. I mean, it, it, I don't even think I dreamt it could be that impactful. Yeah. So to, to yeah. kind of have it take on a life of its own, it's been, it continues to be just so rewarding and so amazing. And, you know, there's so many stories out here from people being on vacation and they'll hear it in Hawaii when, you know, I just love the fact that the Hawaiians have kind of adopted it. So you'll hear it in hotels, you'll hear it on, you know, in the airports. Yeah. I hear all kinds of people that have walked up with their, you know, their significant to be other to that song. Yeah. You know, I've heard so many great stories about it and I just love hearing, I can't get enough of it. You shared a story with our members on the cruise I'd love for you to share for our audience here. You were talking about the creation of lava, which of course is deeply rooted in your lifelong love of Hawaii, your fascination with volcanoes, but then you had sort of an aha moment at your sister's wedding. Would you mind sharing that story? Sure, you know, so I I just kind of had the idea for lava and just percolating around in my head and I was kind of, to get myself really fired up, I took my family on vacation to the Big Island. And when we were there, I, I, I kind of came across this diorama of the five volcanoes that make up the Big Island. So there's five volcanoes that make up the Big Island, but I discovered that there's actually an underwater volcano named Loihi that is estimated to join the surface and reach the Big Island in the next 10,000 to 100,000 years. And that just kind of hit me as, wow, does that volcano know that there's a volcano above the water? And there's something there for a story. And you know, and I just, as I was thinking about it, around that same time, my sister was getting married. And she was getting married at the age of 43. And she'd been really wanting to meet somebody and really wanting to start a family. And so as she stood up there on the altar, all of a sudden this idea of Lohihi, my sister getting married and meeting somebody kind of hit me of like, what if my sister Molly was a volcano? And what if volcanoes spend their entire lives searching for loves like humans do? So that was really kind of the inspiration that made it a love story and also made it about a song. Because I think a song could be the two things that they shared from above the water and below the water. And it just seemed like you know, I think when you're trying to create something like that, you got to come up with these little nuggets and just kind of bat them around and see how, what, what takes and, and how, how they catch. So that was kind of the, you know, the inspiration of how my sister kind of inspired the song from Lava. Well, you've got the ukulele with you. Any chance I could get you to close us out by both playing it and singing it? Absolutely. It'd be my pleasure. was a volcano living all alone in the middle of the sea he sat high above his bay watching all the couples play and wishing that he had someone too and from his lava came this song of hope that he sang out loud Every day for years and years I have a dream I hope will come true 